All right, we're here with top eight. The top four on the other side of the bracket is Shemansky versus uh, Pablo. Um, and my other opponent uh, in the next round is Kevin Kruger, if I make it through. Uh, if I win this game, uh, we're in the points. Well, we're in the prizes. So, uh, yeah, it'll be a good one. We've already beaten a Mali and a baby bl uh, green blounds. So, we'll see if bird control can do it again. We get to win the flip, which is cool. 90 minutes on the clock. Let's see what we're up against. We have a nice Jirachi start. So we have Jirachi gear to try and get us towards <coughs> a uh, Elm. Also getting the benefit of Mulligans, so we can see what we are up against in a bit more detail. Uh, looks like it's another Green Blounds. Okay, Green Blounds is not a bad matchup for us, so this should be good. Uh, we've had some struggle in the first round. We did drop a game uh, the first round because uh, of Beastite, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Alright, we'll start with Stella Wish. And we grab Elm, so we're pretty happy with this straight away. And I already have a good amount of playables for next turn, so I think I can go greedy with Triple Pidge here. Uh, let's see what's in the deck first of all. So we have all of our bird line. We have all of our all of our Pokemon. Uh, yeah, we have all of our chip chips. We've got a crushing hammer prized. Uh, so I'm gonna be typing it alongside. Uh, Power pad is there. Uh, one poker gear. One stamp. Oh no, stamps in hand. Let's keep looking. All of our stadiums. We have this, this, this. Uh, one Mars in hand. So we have one Elm prized. Uh, which means, okay, two Waters prized is very Monka S. The Rosa might be important here. Uh, so, uh, I'm not missing any other supporters. A Tantalizer is prized as well. Okay, but Power Pad's here, so it's not a big problem. Uh, Tate Okay, let's go ahead and fish out our birds. I think I don't mind being greedy. Um, there's a decent chance I can still Stella Wish next turn. I have a gear and I have a Mars anyways. But it's a good matchup. Let's just not draw bad, shall we? Let's just do this. Put down an Absol as well. I can put down an Orangaroo as well. And we can pass it there. Absol we know can be good for the Victini Prism. Because they try and come in with that and then we can try and even Articuno that card instead of the Blown. Especially if this list is also playing Beastite. Beastite isn't really like a core card but we faced it round one. And if the guys are in similar testing circles it's something to bear in mind I guess. So yeah, Alex Shemansky and Pablo Meza in the other bracket, and I would be facing Kevin Kruger if uh, we get through. So, hopefully, things go swell for us. He's going to kick things off with a gear. Browser greens. So the things I'm a little bit concerned about is the prize two waters. That's somewhat annoying. Just for access of the card, you know. If I want to be able to Articuno on the turn, it's important. So I'll, pr I'll prioritize that quite high if I'm seeing it in air mails. And also the Rosa, I'll try and prioritize a little bit higher as well. But all of our hand lock pieces are here, so that's fine. Greens. Doing a deck search of his own. Definitely makes sense. When we have 90 minutes for best of three, it makes a lot of sense. I'll just waste some Rosa. Rosa doesn't sound like a good move. I'm control.
and also the last time I played uh, the this matchup, I ended up actually attacking with Ice Wing on two Pokemon just to take the win. So he took a Greens card just to get rid of it with Fire Fin. So he's trying to thin his deck of all the trash. So he's making my Chip Chips worse, I guess. I don't know how much better it is. Like, his hand must be pretty good for him to try and make a play like this. You know what I mean? You don't make that play if your hand's bad. You just keep going for more greens and stuff. And welders and whatnot. So he's probably got welder in hand at the very least. So if he gets the lucky blazer. No, we survived Stellar Wish again, which is nice. Alright, so we have a bird, a bike, a gear. This is all good stuff. Uh, I want the third bird, I think. Uh, we do have the Ditto and other stuff, and I'm really looking towards an Elm. Maybe I can just take a Crushing here. But no, 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 just guarantee the birds, let's not be silly. Uh, let's do this, oops. Okay. Elm is perfect. space being in play, so I'll take a control piece instead. It's the heat factory that I want to bounce. We already have a stamp in hand, so I can take a crushing here. I don't mind playing a crushing ammo. We know he has a bunch of fire in hand, and if he's happy to get rid of a Rosa, then he probably doesn't have... Or he probably does have Welder. This will seem to have an extra fire energy in his hand anyways, so... I don't mind burning it early just to try and protect, and we can pass. <clears throat> so the engine's online, we have 32 cards in our deck, but still a nice prize buffer. And a decent sized hand to start churning through some, some of his stuff. We've got a decent amount of the handlock stuff already in hand. Stamp chip chip and miles already there for us. I'm going to go for some customs now. I'm going to bring up a bird, I imagine. Oh, they're bringing up the monkey. Okay. That's super fine for me. That's actually the best target possible. <laughs> I actually care about everything else more. So that's good for us. Let's cycle this deck. We're working towards Hapu now. Hapu is our most ideal card. Customs are also really good cards to get um, to defend against Chip Chip as well, so I'm glad that he's got rid of that early. have two stadium bouncers already in our hand, so I'm pretty okay with this. Stellish first. Take a bike. Hmm, there's the stamp factor that I have to be slightly cautious of for binning off an Articuno. So I'll actually keep the second Articuno, even though we're only like ever using one. I want to bounce this. I just want to contest it so we can't just milk free value. Uh, we hit Surge, which is nice. Not for right now, but... Hit a Bryson. I don't mind playing this either real quick. You can just cheese some cards out. If I can cheese some like greens or fire crystals, it could be decent. I have no other better plays. Mars can work me towards more cards, actually. Yeah, let's play the Mars instead. More cards. We like cards. We can still cheese stuff. Ooh, we cheese the Blown. That's actually a really good thing to cheese out, because that can be an easy way for him to one energy win the game. Uh, so that's actually pretty good for us. So 
Uh, let's pass it to him. More acros coming in. Be extremely not important. <clears throat> I'm just gonna see the circus. Okay. I'm gonna bring up Absol now. It opens up board space for me to put down Pidgey Guru, which is good. In, I think, but we'll see. I'm gonna see one more ML first. Hapu is really good. I know that water energy is good, but the water energy will be safe at the bottom, and then I can Hapu. So we're probably gonna have to take the recycle if it's in the top six here, and then just any other card. Okay, so we don't hit the recycle energy just yet. I don't need any of these cards. I don't need the customs, so we can take the bike here and dig even deeper. There's our energy. <clears throat> nice. Um, so, everything is looking pretty decent here. I don't mind putting this down just in case he's going to green us. Uh, uh, sorry, just stamp us. Uh, do I want to play around stamp any more by putting Hapu and Mars back in? The answer is definitely yes to that. That's definitely a good decision. It also shuffles the water higher to the top. Cool. Okay, no stamp. <clears throat> so I can hand lock him here. <coughs> I need to remember to put the festival into play first. But we have Surge Mars. Uh, Jesse James, Stamp, Chip Chip, we have Articuno, we just need the water energy and that's the only piece we need and I need to remember to put this in to play. <clears throat> so, here we go. We actually see all 10 cards so I can't miss. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jeez. There it is. Take that. So we stamp. We replace. We ascend to the active. Surge. We Mars. We JJ. Got rid of the stamp, which is good. Got rid of those. Stack the deck. That's pretty fortuitous. But what can he do with just an energy next turn? He can just blazer. So we will just conquer checks.
And there's the blazer. It's going to be for 60, so it's going to take a few more turns for us to champs fest it all off. So, we'll end in. We'll... I can grab every one of these cards. Just the good old attached blazer. As a welder, we know that that's not in his deck, which is really good for us. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. to start getting towards the circus. Let's see what this does. Yeah, let's get rid of one of these. Start going for Bell El Elba. So we know he has a flint on top. There's so many cards. If I play Mars next turn, that I can do this quite happily. Oh, I can actually access them straight away. What am I thinking? Give me those cards. Chip chip, one of these and one of these. The standard stuff. See how the acrobite treats him. Stadium, but no fire energy in hand because it's just a 
thingamajig. Same old stuff. Possibly could have taken back a stadium there to make his chip chips. Oh, sorry, make our chip chips stronger. I probably should have weaved that in. I can weave it in next time though. So this term we are Jesse Jamesing for sure. Basically, guys. Until it's all gone. for sure. Oh man, those are all good cards. Um, what can he access that's immediately painful for me? It's like crystal and other stuff. Let's draw some random cards though. Let's give him some random cards instead. We have a nice health buffer. Uh, I don't need to play anything else. Crystal, I think. Poopy gear coming in. There's a greens. to win. I think it's our game. Oh, he has the fire crystal. I can play that as well. <clears throat> I 
Let's get our crushings underway. Okay, it's a nice, easy 1-0 there so far. Didn't see anything scary out of his list. So we should be good for this next game. time we just have the poke gear to hope. Maybe we get some mulligan help. Yep, we do. least have a couple draws. But we insta lose. <laughs> Check out our prize cards. So, all of the birds are here. We have all of our Rangaroos. One Articuno is prized. Let's see what else we got. Uh, one Champs Fest. One Elm. Again as well. 
yeah, take analyzer and one water. Eight water. That's one, two, three, four, five prizes. What have I missed? What have I missed? Not the gear. Not the crushing. Oh, it's giraffe rig? Oh, that's perfect. Giraffe is pointless. Okay, cool. Perfect. Let's do, just go ahead and do this then. Uh, actually, let's do it like this. That's Kuno Champs Fest, Elm, Tate, Water, Giraffe. That's actually really fine. That is absolutely fine by me. I will crushing just to force him to have more in hand, more fires, maybe make him waste a fire crystal, something like that. So overall the prize is not bad. You'll also note that I play all the 60 hit point Pidgeys, and I did this because I was thinking that round one my opponent was actually going to play Blounds, and this forces an extra energy out of them. <laughs> so even though the 50 hit point Pidgey is technically correct, I was expecting round one green Blounds, so I played all 60 hit point Pidgeys. <laughs> Gotta min max when you when you uh, think you know what your opponent's playing. Min max, boys. Alright, early heat factory is nice. They can get rolling. Four energy in their bin already. There's the crystal, so they're definitely gonna be knocking us out. Probably well before, to be honest. First monkey going down. All right, let's do our evolving up. Papu and Elm are both decent supporters to find. That provides her a welcome sight. Water energy might be good even for retreating Pidgeotto. Uh, more answer supporters or a thing to retreat into? Protect the birds, I think. Birds. Uh, that gets me energy, bird, and a gear for next turn. Probably better than just elming. Elm gets me like a Ditto and a Pidgeotto. This is stronger. Means I can pay retreat. So, let's grab our energy. Oh, I can grab um, Hapu. Yeah. I forgot I could grab supports off this. Um, I could also grab a Jirachi to go into. Yeah, let's grab a Jirachi to go into. We'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do this, protect the bird. Still a wish. Uh, we already have a chip chip in hand. Uh, we'll again try and force more energies out of him, even though there's only one to deal with the Jirachi. We know he has a bunch still in hand, right? Deny some draw. It does make the Articuno less live, which is the only concern, but we have so much draw. 
this should be fine. We can pass there. We'll try and cycle back water and crushings next turn, probably with a Rangaroo. They're gonna green. I can just get them fire crystal, which is already enough for a knockout. Them as well, so they can knock out a Pidgeotto. If they wanna. Oh, it's going to be a Ranguru again. That's also really good for us. That's fine. That is absolutely fine by me. Not a worry. Especially when you just find another one off the top. Alright, deck thinning game plan. Ooh, I like this card. Still going ahead. I actually need to take the Champs Fest here so I can bounce for my own Articuno for next turn if I want to. Go down that route. Uh, Jesse J is actually part of the Surge combo. Recycle energy. Uh, I need the recycle, so I need to get rid of the Mars here. I think. Unfortunately, Mars got to go. We'll try and find the next one. Uh, the rest is all binnable. been completely accumulated. I'm going to green. I wonder if he's going to custom up a Ranguru here. Yeah, he is. He's trying to kill our monkeys, dude. He's trying to kill the chimps. I mean, I've price checked, so it's fine. Means that I can't use uh, Articuno this turn, though. Project Find the Chimp. Gets me the full handlock and it draws me two cards. So that's probably pretty good. Set. 
Uh, there's a Ranguru, so I can um, resource management now instead of um, the JJ and just tantalize a Ranguru. Um, the only issue with this is that if he does just have enough fires to get through me, five with three crystals gone. Maybe I'm still meant to JJ here, and I can just weave in the Oranguru next turn. Yeah, I'm meant to JJ Chip Chip here and just Oranguru next turn. For sure. So this stuff can just go. Let's see what this does. This does. Uh, so he's allowed this. So he's blazering next turn. I have eight in deck. I want to access Surge as soon as possible so I can Surge Tate and do other plays. So we'll go Surge Mars. And we know he can't gust anyways, right? He's played all four customs, so I can actually just put this down with an energy, right? We know that he's just forced to blazer next turn, Just to pressure him to play the Victini, by the way. Oh, that's really bad for us. Uh, that's really not good for us at all. the Jirachi doesn't do anything. I can put the water energy down though. Um, and we can... Maybe a Chip Chip, a Chimp, and a Power Pad. Played. Oh, he's still got greens. Three fire crystals gone. Can fire crystal take a knockout? case of crushing hammers a lot more because he can attach to the Victini now on the bench this turn. Oh no he can't, he has to fire crystal it all to the active.
We still have some leeway though. Okay, so th this means he can get the attachment to the Victini. It's actually pretty smart. up in here for that big teeny. Surge, Mars, Palpad, ML, Mars. That works. So I get rid of those two cards, then I chip chip. Bench Monkey, Retreat. Resource Management back. Monkey Pad. And... Actually, do I need to do the Surge here? He has Flint and Switch. Um, so... Uh, I'm never dealing with his... I'm never bell elbowing here, so I'm always doing this. Oh my god, what a luck bro. Oh wait, we can give him this, right? Um, because he'll only have two in hand and no valid targets. Yeah, yeah, we give him this. I'm just cautious of playing the Surge too aggressively. Oh, he, he took a random card and it just doesn't show me that Switch is still in his thing. That could have gone so badly for me. I really should have been able to access uh, and see what prize he took there. That's actually really bad from PTCGO. So his hand is Flint and Welder. I should have taken a JJ over the Benalba there, too aggressive. So I take um, Palpad, I take Monkey, and Chip Chip. Still 
still can't weave in crushing hammers just yet. This turn is where we can weave in the crushings. It's really bad that I wasn't allowed to see his prizes. Oh, so wait, he did take switch? I'm really confused. He must have taken switch earlier, right? but there wasn't a flint in his hand, so where have I lost the flint somewhere in the process? Weird. Crushing's involved now. That Champs Festival was surprisingly relevant against that sort of stuff. Alright, let's get these crushings on the way. The first thing I want to do is get the bench guy. Busted. He's allowed a beast string, that's for sure. Chip, chip, one of these, and one of these. I think that just about locks it for us. I know there's a lot more to come, but we're going to start belabouring away stuff now. So he has a B string in his hand. B string, B string, B string. Cards. Let's put Maxim cards. I can finally weave Tate and Eliza back into here. He is allowed Ultra Space. Let's get a 
in the deck of Blown. And you can blaze it for the relevant turn, because I'm not healing this turn. Let's grab our cards. Hammers. So his hand is, uh, what is his hand? It's beast ring plus something. Okay, okay. he's cool. All right, we're there, we're there. Green Blounds is a pretty favorable matchup for us. So, yeah, on to top four, we're in the prizes. Sweet, see you next time. <laughs>